This is a very sad occasion that brings us here. Ten long years of imprisonment for a man whose only crime was believing passionately, sacrificially, that Russia could change, that Russia could be better, that bringing to Russia modern and Western and really universal standards of, of transparency and integrity and responsibility could work. And he has paid a very, very high price for those principles. In our country, such as it is now, there is a special это почетная должность. Правда, почетная. И вы самый главный политзаключенный в нашей стране. Михаил Холорковский с единым, на свете прикладом, что кто-то из Нельсона Рокофелера мог посадить в Нельсона Мандела. I think Khodorkovsky has handled his situation with uh, tremendous grace and dignity. He is a man who was sort of at the top of his game uh, a decade ago, uh, Russia's, Russia's richest man, um, someone who decided it was time to support civil society, even venture into some opposition activities, and he clearly crossed wires with President Putin and paid a, a dear price for that. One of the most symbolic examples of human rights abuse in the past 10 years has been the trial and imprisonment of Mikhail Khodorkovsky. His suffering reflects the lack of independence of Russian judicial system. He was jailed simply because he presented a threat to the established order. We Положительным удивлением отмечаем то, что вы настоящий борец, и как вы 10 лет, находясь в тюрьме, как вы держитесь и как вы боретесь с этим произволом, конечно, вызывает чувство самого высокого уважения. That in the 10 years or so since uh, Khodorkovsky was arrested, sent to prison, uh, that has been coterminous with the decline in the rule of law in Russia. Sadly, Khodorkovsky's fate is not isolated. Mr. Putin may have some virtues, but he seems to have been willing to preside over a Russia which has become more restrictive, uh, less willing to respect the normal principles of justice, and using political power as a way uh, through the legal system uh, to actually prevent opponents or critics uh, being able to exercise what would be their normal rights in a free society. I view it with, um, with unhappiness toward the Russian regime and, and uh, actually a, a, a great deal of, uh, of regret and sadness at what has happened to uh, a bright promise that we, we felt the Russian people had. Und dafür steht Michael Khodorkovsky immer als Symbol, als jemand, der gesagt hat, ich beuge mich nicht vor der Macht, sondern ich stehe für die Dinge, für die ich einstehen will. Insofern hoffe ich, dass er spätestens im nächsten Oktober rauskommt, aber noch mehr würde ich hoffen, dass er vielleicht schon im Laufe dieses Jahres rauskommt. A decade of injustice. The European Parliament has followed closely the politically motivated persecutions against him. There are many of us across Europe who have not forgotten Khodorkovsky and will continue fighting for him to be released and for justice to be done. But I think it also tells you a lot uh, about the character of the Putin regime and the sort of Russia that Putin is creating. But Khodorkovsky represents uh, people who would want to create a different sort of Russia, which is why the trumped up charges were brought, which is why he's still in prison, which is why uh, it appears that his attempts to seek justice through the, the, the Council of Europe and the, are being thwarted again and again and again. And I think it's important uh, that we take cognizance of that and draw attention to it. Этот срок показал, что их не сломить. Этот срок показал все убожество нынешней власти. И этот срок показал, насколько она труслива эта власть. 
и насколько она беспредельна. Кстати, то, что в России уничтожено правосудие как независимый институт, это тоже дело Ходорковского и Лебедева, это надо понимать, да? Ведь именно с этого дела началось вот это вот телефонное право, басманное правосудие и так далее и тому подобное. Потом уже были пусть рай, потом было болотное, потом было еще куча неправосудных приговоров. Сейчас вот дело Навального. Это все уже следствие вот тех процессов, разрушительных для государства, которые начались с процессом над Ходорковским в 2003 году. It was a, an attempt for Putin to become the biggest oligarch and to steal from anyone else who had any success. And he um, did it in, in the most vociferous way towards Michael Horakovsky. Michael Horakovsky sits bald 10 years in jail. No matter what he can do, no matter what he is there is or not. I have one request to President Putin. It is in every way enough. Let him free.